This week on our box office breakdown, we're swimming into the ocean. It calls me. Where Johnny Depp and the Pirates of the Caribbean do battle with Dwayne Johnson and the gorgeous cast of Baywatch. To get your swimsuits on, let's take a dive into this week's box office face-off between two titans of Hollywood. Eyebrows were raised when Paramount decided to turn the 90s phenomenon, Baywatch, into a bro comedy with The Rock and Zac Efron. This guy's a train wreck. The film might look like a Sports Illustrated swimwear issue in motion, but even cameos from original Baywatch icons Pamela Anderson and David Hasselhoff couldn't save Baywatch from sinking to the ocean floor this weekend. It finished in second place with a poor 26 million domestically, far lower than the $40 million Paramount had been expecting. Made on a ballsy budget of $60 million, Baywatch is in dangerous waters. But what about pirates? Pirates life. Jack Sparrow and his motley crew are going out on a high if Dead Man Tell No Tells is the final movie in the Pirates franchise. The film was easily number one at the box office this weekend, with $77 million across the four days. <laughs> the ocean is even bluer elsewhere, globally. Dead Men made a massive $285 million for the weekend on a budget of $230 million. Follow him in! That puts it on track for at least $800 million at the end of its run, making this fifth Pirates adventure a similar sized hit to Guardians of the Galaxy 2. That's not quite as much dollar as the last movie in the series, On Stranger Tides, which made $1.05 billion, but it's also not a bad day's work for an old swashbuckler. Arr. Hang on though, he might have won this round, but let's not assume that Johnny Depp has a box office crown. Outside of Pirates, Depp's biggest hit is Disney's Alice in Wonderland, which made a fairy tale like 1 billion in 2010. But he's also had a lot of high profile flops. Remember Mordecai, $47 million in total, or Alice Through the Looking Glass, which made just $300 million worldwide. <laughs> the Rock, on the other hand, has amassed a series of decent hits. From San Andreas in 2015, which made $474 million, to last year's feel good hit Moana, which made $642 million. And no one knows how far it goes. No Pirates film has ever made as much money as Fast 8, which opened with an eye watering $532 million worldwide, and now has a cool $1.22 billion in the bank. And, of course, Furious 7 made a truly epic. 1.5 billion two years ago. We're gonna need a bigger truck! But which of these two hotshots have grossed more in the last decade? Johnny Depp's films have totaled an impressive 1.35 billion dollars. However, Johnson's movies have made a rock solid total of 2.17 billion, and that's just in the US alone. Just remember, I'm always watching. While Johnny Depp and the Pirates may be this weekend's box office champs, it's Dwayne Johnson who's laughing all the way to the bank. Real like <laughs> Join us next week for another movie pilot box office breakdown, and we'll be talking all things this lady. See you soon.